Hi, it's Marita. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I want to share with you the great news regarding H1B visa ban and actually the relaxation of this ban. So if you are interested, definitely stay tuned. Coming up. All right, guys. So before I dive deeper, I want to ask you to subscribe, especially if you're new to my channel. Welcome. Hit that bell notification button and also check out my Instagram. So let's talk about it. All right, already you probably already know and you probably already heard and that's also the title of this video you know there is great news that is impacting h1b visa holders especially those who had um, secured position before the proclamation which was june 22nd and it's concerning the same employer and it's concerning the same job and you are currently outside of the united states and you need to get your visa stamp to your passport and return back to the United States. So you can do that if you meet one of these requirements that I'm going to break for you in this video. So also it's impacting L visas. So it's not just the H1B, but basically the rule is that you need to be working for the same employer. You need to show that you were hired by this employer before the proclamation, which is the immigration ban. And I already made a video so you can check it out. And you also need to show that obviously you are somebody who is continuing this employment and currently you are stuck outside of the United States and you need to return back to the United States, physically perform these services um, or your work job, whatever that is. So guys, let's talk about the criteria that is actually um, stated as is impacting the H-1B visas, especially, right? So number one, you need to show one of these five requirements in order to qualify for this visa and in order to receive this visa and then travel and enter the United States. You need to show that um, you are needed by your employer and you need to be physically present in the United States. So if you are performing your job online and that's not sufficient, you need to show that you are physically needed and you need to go to the United States. Otherwise, your employer will actually suffer financial hardship. So there is a lot of evidence and paperwork that needs to be submitted. So one of the requirements is that you are physically needed and you need to be in the United States to perform your duties. Number two is also that um, your U.S. employer needs to show financial hardship, right? So you need to give a documentation that is actually establishing financial hardship. And if you don't return to the United States, you are causing hardship, financial hardship to that particular company uh, that you work for, for your employer. So that's number two. Number three, uh, your employment, you must provide significant and unique contribution to an employer meeting a tr critical infrastructure need. This will include chemical, communications, dams, defense, industrial base, emergency services, energy, financial services, food and agriculture, government facilities, healthcare, public health, information technology, nuclear reactors, transportation and water systems. So that's number three. Number four is that the wage rate paid to you will exceed the existing wage rate by at least 15%. So basically, if you are hired by your employer who is planning to give you the regular wage, then you might have a difficulty to receive the visa because you need to show and demonstrate that your wage is actually 15% increased to that regular wage in within the same position for the same employer. So really the intention behind it is to protect the U.S. citizens and preserve the jobs for U.S. citizens. So there is no suspicion, suspicion that you are actually stealing the job for the U.S. citizens. And um, lastly, you need to demonstrate that you do have specific education, you do have specific training and specific expertise and experience within this specialty occupation and uh, that this work that you are about to do should reflect that you are really adding value to the U.S. economy. So if you are able to meet two of these five requirements, you should be able to get your visa issued and then travel to the United States despite that immigration ban, the proclamation that was issued on June 22nd, which I already mentioned, which I already mentioned. I do have a video that you can check it out on this topic. So these are great news for you guys. I hope that you are delighted by uh, this information. If you have any questions, comments, of course, you can leave them below this video. 
uh, and if you are new to my channel I suggest that you do subscribe because I am sharing weekly sometimes daily updates especially during this immigration turbulent times because every day there is something new uh, popping up and so you definitely want to stay informed and because information and the knowledge is the power so uh, like I said if you are new welcome again uh, I'm glad to have you and stay tuned for my upcoming videos see you soon bye